This is the melodic minor section of the harmonizer. You can see right here um, what the melodic minor scale is. It's a often called the jazz minor scale because it com combines two elements of um, um, minor scale and major scale. Like the minor scale, it has a flatted third degree in it. In the major scale, this would have this note would have been right here. <clears throat> in this scale, it's a flat. Uh, third, which shows up here. However, at the very end of the scale, we have the seventh degree and the um, and the root just a half step apart. So that gives it a nice um, feeling of um, well, it allows you to to give a nice dominant chord, make a dominant chord out of this scale, and resolve to your tonic. Now that sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo, but um, jazz players like this scale because of its uh, versatility and and the way it sounds. Um, what we have here is a B-flat minor melodic scale, but we can change that since this is the harmonizer. We can change it to whatever key we want it to be, and let's change that to, we'll move it through the scale here, and we'll go to A-flat just like that. So um, what we have noted here is we have melodic minor scale, but then down here we show the different mode names that apply to the melodic minor scale. And if you notice, as we've mentioned before, each mode starts on a note of the melodic minor scale. This is the second note, third note, fourth note, fifth note, sixth note, seventh note, just like it is here. Now when you start your mode on a different note, it spaces these notes differently. Um, and so each one of these modes, if you were to play it, has a little bit different feeling than just the regular melodic minor uh, scale, which has that as the root. Um, now up here we have scale degrees indicated, like there's the root, and here's the second scale degree, here's the third scale degree, but since we know um, we flatted that, it would actually be a flat third rather than just a third. But this just shows you the um, diatonic or the, the scale degrees that occur in the major scale. Uh, so you just have to kind of interpolate from that. If it's not, if you see something that's not, you know, noted, you just have to call it a, a flatted second. Um, so back to this. We've got the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and the seventh. If you keep going on out, you end up with um, a note out here, which would be the ninth and a note out here which would be the 11th and the 13th of the scale. Um, it's actually taking you into the second scale, but those happen to be the same notes as these. So the 9th is the same as the second degree, the 11th degree is the same as the fourth degree, and that's the note. The 13th is the same as the sixth degree. It shows you right there. Now the notes of the, of the scale are noted this way. And right here, where there's the dark green border around the hexagonal, or hexagon, um, these three constitute the triad. And these three are another triad, these three another triad. So each mode produces its own triad chord that belongs to the key of melodic minor. Now, some keys, I mean, I'm sorry, some chords are built on four chords, four notes, and that includes these notes out here. So you've got the triad plus your seventh degree note out here, so that completes the, the tetrachord. And this is the tetrachord here, this is tetrachord. Uh, I'll just see if I can indicate that a little bit clearer. Um, this note here Oops. Yeah, this note here, this note here, this note here, and that note there. That's the tetrachord um, on the for the root of a melodic minor. So if you were to go to the fifth minor, the fifth, um, I'm sorry, the fifth degree, which is the mixolydian flat mode, flat six mode. These are your notes that make up your tetrachord there. And 
So along here, this shows you the the actual chord names. It will encompass this note. So this note here, A flat, B flat, E flat, G, is an A flat minor major. This is E flat, G, B flat, D. That makes this an E flat dominant seventh. So that's the way you read this.